With Luka Doncic dominating his way through the Eurobasket tournament, there was no doubt his Slovenian team would simply walk over the underdogs from Poland. But a funny thing happened on the way to the second quarter as Matus Paninka put on a show, exposing real weaknesses in the Slovenian defensive strategy and leading the Polish national team to arguably the biggest upset in Eurobasket history. an idea of where Poland has stood in this tournament, the last time they made the semifinal was in 1963, and yet they opened right out of the gate swigging at a team that featured two NBA players and one NBA MVP contender in Luka Doncic. Poninka notched a triple-double, abusing Doncic a little bit in the process, and the use of the high pick and roll plagued the Slovenian defense all night long. Out of horns, the top high post player set a double ball screen, watch Luka purposely go underneath while the second ball screener's man hedges high. Luka doesn't get back fast enough as Panitka shoots the open jumper in his face. It was that same double ball screen later in the fourth that got a crucial bucket as Slovenia was threatening to take control. Goran Dragic is on ball this time and they do a simple switch of the screen. However, watch how two defenders go to the roll man with zero communication, leaving the other screener wide open behind the arc. Granted, you'd probably leave open anyone with this kind of shooting form, but it pays off for Poland. In the third, as Slovenia was getting intense while trying to come back, they try another high hedge of the pick and roll, which means the roller's man is woefully behind the play while also setting a brush screen on his own man trying to recover to the ball. This should be Luka rotating to stop the cutter, since the screen was going to the left, and that means Luka is on the weak side. The help comes from the other side, and the defense is forced to foul. It wasn't just the high pick and roll either. On the wing, they allowed the ball handler to use the screen back to the middle. The screener's man plays his flat at screen level. The ball handler's man sticks to the ball, and it's an easy pocket pass for a layup. You can see how upset Luka is at Blazic since their scheme is to have the farthest guy on the weak side rotate over to stop the roll man. They'd have been much better off icing this by forcing the ball handler away from the screen and the ball screener's man dropping down to contain. Poland started to pull away in the second quarter as you see the pick and roll out top and the weak side corner defender trying to get into help position early. Great snap pass by Ponitka, even better jab step crossover on the catch by Ziskowski and he gets an acrobatic runner in off the glass. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, as Poland again uses the high pick and roll, this time with AJ Slaughter handling it. Remember, because they're foolishly high hedging with the screener's man, the weak side corner defender is the guy they want to rotate over. Look how much distance the screener's man has to make up because of the hedge. Poland makes a great adjustment to hit the right wing, forcing the corner defender's man to abandon his held position. No one is left to guard the roller cutting to the front of the rim, and it's a layup to extend the lead to 17. Without Luka in the game at this point, Drogic is the guy who has to create for them, and the nice spin move gets him a layup. Probably a reach-in foul right here, but no call, and it's a costly turnover. Slovenia gets Luka right back in to stop the bleeding, and it should come as no surprise that they force a complete scramble by the defense by running a simple high pick and roll. The high hedge by the big man quickly becomes a double team. The weak side corner defender must rotate to pick up the roll man. Luka drops the zone the backside, but now the ball gets moving to the corner. Attacking an awful closeout by Drakic that leaves him in the second row of the stands, Luka is forced to cover for him one pass away, and it gives Poland a wide open shot to their best player. Slovenia does a nice job with their pick and roll to force Poland into rotations. They do an X out on the weak side and it almost worked until Slaughter jumps out of the way leading to the open corner three. But Slovenia was cold all night from beyond the arc. Nice job by Luka to track down the loose ball and notice how the defense gets in legal guarding position, hands straight up and Luka initiates contact and expects a call that never comes. The off balance shot isn't close and now it's a five on four. Nobody picks up Panitka, what? And Dragic never realizes he needed to close out to the open man in the corner who can lick his thumb and check the wind he's so wide open to blow this game open with a 23 point lead. How could this be happening to such a solid club led by one of the world's best players? Unless you were there in person, you might not have believed your eyes. And that's why you need SeatGeek, the best app to find tickets to sporting events, concerts, and the theater. Imagine getting to the arena early to watch Luka get loose up close and personal. 
SeatGeek can help you find the best available tickets and they even grade the price to let you know if you're getting a good deal or not. Best of all, if you use my code BBALL, you'll get 20 bucks off your first purchase. So get in the game with SeatGeek and you'll be able to enjoy all your NBA action in person while saving some money. Now let's check in on how Luka played offensively, as Slovenia clearly relies on his heroics to win games. And from the get-go, he was struggling big time. He rejects the screen to cross over back to his left. Excellent defense as the defender shows his chest, absorbs a huge amount of contact and stays in position, forcing Luka into a leaning one-footed shot that had little chance of going in. Here's an example of a high hedge that did work. As the step-up screen is set to his right, the screener's man shows and quickly recovers just as Luka's man hustles back in front. And let's not ignore the nice help from the weak side in the roll man to eliminate the pass. I'm used to seeing Luca throw this skip pass to the left corner for wide open shots, but he elects for the pull up with his two motion form and it just misses going in. I like this possession where Doncic lets the offense work for him. You can see that weak side defender looking to bump to the roll man, excellently timed skip and then a nice split jab on the catch freezes the defender so he can rise up for a triple. This time, Poland switches the early screen and Luca decides to go to work on the perceived mismatch. We know he was suffering from back pain, so perhaps this is why he didn't look to attack, instead settling for a step back jumper that he's proven to be below average on in the NBA. However, in the third, having cut the lead to only eight, Luka leads his team back into it. Setting the quick screen to catch the defense off guard is always a good idea, and watch how they pull the weak side guard to the wing. His man goes with him, the screener's defender was frozen in concern with Luka, so he can't turn and run fast enough to catch up to the nice lob and finish. Poland is so concerned with Luka on this pick and roll, their high hedge becomes a quick double team, forcing Zyskowski to cover the roll man until the hedger can recover. No way the help can get back, they should have X'd out this rotation, and as a result, Slovenia gets a good look from three to cut the lead to four. This time, Slovenia runs the pick and roll to Luka's left, and remember, the weak side corner defender is supposed to rotate, not the strong side. This lets Luka do a nice no-look skip to the left corner, and he's got a wide-open three to cut it to one. A big part of Luka's struggles were no calls on drives to the basket when it appeared there was definite contact by the defender. And you can see Luka's frustration with the refs boil up until his controversial drive by slaughter. He comes down on the jump stop, then ends the dribble, then takes two more steps. It's really unclear whether this is legal based on the rules, and Luka makes a demonstrative show of how he feels about it, the refs were fed up with him showing them up and hit him with a crucial technical that enabled Poland to extend their small lead a little bit. Let's move to crunch time as Slovenia takes advantage of the high hedge here, which leaves a free cut to the hoop. That pesky weak side corner defender was supposed to come over, but he's nowhere to be found and Slovenia ties it up. Here's where you'd think Poland would wake up, realize their ranking, and let Slovenia squeak on by. Instead, Slaughter says, give me some runaway to straight hero ball. Boop, you reach, I teach. And Luka is caught ball watching while his man is flaring to the wing. He can't get there in time and Panika splashes one in the face. Luka didn't help the cause by missing not one, but two free throws while down three. When he can't force a switch to attack a mismatch, he settles for that same step back to his left from five feet behind the line. They almost get another chance until Muric panics in the air and throws the ball away. Same score, lots of time left, and Lucas sucks in two defenders, then makes the right play to get the ball moving. However, this wasn't really an open shot and they come away with nothing. Poland knows Luka has four fouls and the refs are mad at him, so they wind the clock down into an isolation out top, targeting the Slovenian star. Ponika gets him in the air, creates a lot of contact, and that's it for Luka for the night. Dragic is their only hope, and he's just not that player anymore. I like the spin move, but watch how far his nose gets in front of his toes, instantly losing his balance and control of the ball until it gets knocked away for good and Slaughter can corral it. Up six, they can officially ice this game with a bucket, so they spread the floor wide and turn to an inside ball screen. Watch how the roll man stops short and sets another screen on his man so there wasn't help on the drive. No one else crashes down to help, and the acrobatic reverse layup gives them an eight-point lead they never relinquish going on to an upset that won't be forgotten soon, as some timely three-point shooting and taking advantage of a poor defensive strategy from Slovenia elevated Poland to their first semifinal in Eurobasket in 69 years and giving them hope heading into the Olympics.